as a lot of you probably know, I don't really believe a lot in the whole scent control mumbo jumbo. Um, I shoot a lot of my bucks wearing my work boots and my hunting clothes. Um, my take on scent control is you got to keep your scent from getting to the deer's nose either via air or via ground scent. And if you think you can beat a deer's nose, you're sadly mistaken. You can't with any product. So for me, um, milkweed has been uh, my scent control. I'm constantly checking the wind with this. Um, I got this little pocket on my vest. I keep my milkweed in here. It's always open. And going in to hunt, when I'm hunting, all the time I'm checking the wind. I'm dropping these. Even when you think you know where the wind's blowing, you're going to find that it hits an obstacle in the distance, like the trees. Now I can see my, <laughs> I'm watching my milkweed right now going a loop and it's going that way even though it was blowing that way when I let it go. And it follows your scent stream. Um, this stuff is like magic. You take uh, those powders everybody sells, they don't work. They tell you where the wind is exactly where you're standing. You take a feather or a string or something on your bow, tells you what the wind's doing exactly where you're at and it only tells you what wind is doing. When it gets dead calm, you'd be surprised what these milkweed do when you can't even see or feel wind or see it on a string. These things will show you exactly where your air current's going, where your scent's going. And once you try them, you'll be sold. Um, it sounds goofy, but you actually got to go out there and do it. But this right here, that's my scent control. Milkweed often uh, grows right on the sides of roads, in open fields, uh, on ditch lines and fence lines. Uh, here's a roadside over here with a, uh, with a fence that uh, has quite a bit growing along it. Um, so I was going to pick some, so I thought I'd film it for you guys. Here's what it looks like. It's got these big broad leaves. You can see a bunch of it in the distance there, you can't miss it, you can see it forever. Once you know what the plant looks like, you really can't miss it. And these pods here, that's what we're looking for. Look at this, jackpot, right? That right there is enough to last a whole season easy, even with my overuse. See how you can't miss the plants? You got the big broad leaves right along the ditch. Okay, so this is what the milkweed pods look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a little slit down them with the knife, right down the side, and then we're just going to let them sit out here in the sun for a day, and uh, or a couple days, and let them dry. Um, they dry well on your dashboard of your truck too, um, but don't leave them there so long that they poof out and uh, fill your truck. Been there, done that. Um, then you can just take one of these once they're like semi-dry and put it in your vest pocket and just. Pull it open at the slit, pull the seat out, and let her go. Okay, now I cut a slit in all of them, and uh, there's like a milky uh, substance. I don't know. Can you see that on there? That's uh, real sticky. That's what you want to dry out. Um, but some of these are a little dry, like, like here's a seed coming out. And that's what you do is just pull them out of the pouch like that and then my fingers weren't so sticky. There it goes. Following the wind. Hopefully the wind noise ain't too bad. It's kind of a breezy day, but I'm gonna try and get away with this anyways. We usually pick uh, milkweed in September let it dry, slit it, so we have it for the whole season because we start in early September uh, our hunting. Um, 
Right now it's uh, mid-October, so I wanted to show you what milkweed looks like now. And right now it's kind of nice because it's already dried. Some of them are even already break, broken out. But if you're looking for milkweed now, here's the, uh, the same patch we were looking at back in September. And here's what we got. Um, see, look at this plant. It doesn't have any leaves on it. But now you can just split that open and pretty much use it. Just how it is. Uh, here's a plant with a couple pods on it. Here's, here's a plant that still has the leaves, which is kind of odd because this one's completely gone. Here's one where they're just starting to fall off. Here's another one. And if you give it enough time, they'll actually uh, dry out and start poofing out like these did here. And then you can just uh, collect them and they're ready to rock. See, this one's a little bit green yet. But one of these, you can just pick and start using, right here.